you consider yourself coming into the year to try, trying to get a leadership role with this group? Yeah, I mean, I'm just willing to do whatever Cal asks me. So just whatever it takes to become a better team, whether it's being a leader, being a role player, just whatever. Uh, I feel like I've improved my game a lot. So there's a lot of things that people don't know about me. So just kind of just trying to show that in practice. And, and uh, I mean, I like being a leader just because I have that experience. So just whatever Cal wants. I mean, you played and contributed a lot last year. But this year, they really did a lot of you Put up points and do everything. What do you think you have to do? Sure you could be out there to get player shooting, and things that you really want to play. Uh, you know, I've been working hard in the off season, uh, just really working on my running, and getting in better shape, getting my legs stronger, getting quicker. Pretty much just working on my body. That was the main thing this summer. But continuing to hone on my jump shot and my post moves and stuff like that. You can never get too good at something. So uh, that's just key, just being in the best shape I possibly can, just to get bigger minutes and uh, just being ready for whatever role. Have you had fun at Kentucky? I mean, I, we see you in these videos, the videos that you, know, you make. You seem like you're happy. Yeah. Do, you, do, you have, do you have as much fun here as it looks like? Yeah, I'm, I'm having a great time. Just uh, fortunate to pick the great program, the great coach, and uh, great players, too. I mean, uh, not only is it fun to play with these guys, it's fun to hang out with them all. So uh, I'm blessed to pick the right situation, and I'm having a blast. Describe me what it's like to want an attitude. I mean, you, you came here, you knew that was a possibility. I'm sure that's what you would hope. Yeah. But then when it actually happens, what's, what's that? I mean, it was surreal because even though the season was a tough, it was a grind. I mean, there's some days like where no one felt like going. I mean, it was just like, it's just exhausting on your body, but it really blew by fast. And just that moment, finally having that accomplishment, is a great feeling because we put in a lot of work together as a team. So. To finally have that accomplishment was great. It was just, it was just amazing to be able to share, share those experiences with people back home and stuff like that. Now, the reason I like you is that you seem to have a different side, which I think is very important. Uh, a lot of basketball players do. Uh, you, do the, you do those videos with, uh, with Willie and some of the other guys. Fans seem to really get a kick out of it. Do you yeah. like, not only doing it, because I mean, what you're doing is what the college kids do, but being able to share with fans yeah. and get confident. I mean, it's, it's hilarious because, like, when I first got here, we just kind of, like, were goofing around one day and just kind of whipped up one together. And then I didn't think it would be big at all. Like, I didn't think anyone would notice it. And then all of a sudden, like, it was just, like, blowing up. So, like, when it's on, like, hey, it's happening. Yeah. Do you read the comment section to see what people I don't say? Really, I just read the – I have my YouTube and I don't really get – I get notifications from that, so I just look at those. Yeah. Yeah, like, sometimes my friend will be like, your video is on KSL already. I was like – we get them up there as quick as we can. Yeah, I think, it's, they, I think it's hilarious that the fans love it so much. Like, I would have never thought they would have been loving it. You seem to have sort of connected with Willie, who's probably of the recruits the one that made the least. Um, Cal is something crazy. Something about what he's playing. What's he like both on and off the court? I mean, off the court, he's fun to hang around. He's similar to me, just kind of uh, carefree, just trying to have a good time, too. So. Uh, he works really hard on, on the court and on his game, and, and the summer's been big for him, just improving a lot. And him coming in, him now, is just two different people. Yeah. And uh, Big Blue doesn't know what to expect because I mean, they haven't seen a lot of them. So uh, they're definitely going to be surprised. He's a very great talent. He's got a lot of length. You have to work against him. He and Darlington, like Cal was saying yesterday, he expects you to do a lot of work on the post this year because he says, look, he's used to having to score over. Yeah. Yeah. He'll be able to score over anybody. Oh yeah, no doubt. I mean, I've and been Anthony working out. Yeah, I've been working out with him all summer, and then I went to like simple like the I uh, played with the Canadian team mm -hmm. for a weekend. There was a lot of NBA guys up there. And not, no one can compare to that length. Yeah, they're they're a tremendous length. And just going against them kind of just gives you that instinct. Like you, you're not thinking about it. It's just developing ways to finish. You get a normal sized person in your head. Yeah. Be able, I, we got to see more of the baby hook. Everybody yeah, loves it. Yeah, I mean, I've really done a, a good job of just really being able to use my post game a lot this year, just developing a strong base to be able to post up. And then yeah. Just a variety of moves to be able to face up, use the hook shots, just, just becoming a better player. And, and uh, Coach Payne's done a great job of developing this down there.